A brazen attack on Sri Lanka's cricket team was caught on tape. Gunmen armed with rifles, grenades and rocket launchers opened fire on a convoy carrying the squad and match officials. The shots rang out as a team reached a traffic circle near the main sports stadium in eastern Pakistan. The attack then triggered a 15-minute gun battle with police guarding the vehicles. Officials said six policemen and a driver were killed. And seven players, an umpire and a coach were hurt in the coordinated attack. But their injuries aren't considered life-threatening. Former Pakistani cricket legend turned politician Imran Khan is blasting the Pakistani government's security arrangements for the visiting team. I think this was uh, one of the most tragic incidences in Pakistan's sports history. I think this was one of the worst security failures in Pakistan. The Pakistan government guaranteed the Sri Lankan cricket team that they would provide them security. And to see the type of security provided to the, uh, to the Sri Lankan cricket team was completely shameful. Authorities didn't speculate on the identities of the attackers or their motives, but the chief suspect will be Islamist militants, some with links to al-Qaeda. The men appear to be highly trained and highly armed. Pakistan must pull out of this insane, this senseless war on terror. No Pakistani was involved in 9-11. Yet, Pakistan has become the center of world terrorism now. Tuesday's attack reinforced perceptions Pakistan is unable to control a raging militancy that's increasingly threatening to destabilize a nation of 170 million. Sri Lanka had agreed to the tour after India and Australia backed out of scheduled trips over security concerns. The assault will likely end hopes of international cricket teams, or any sports teams, playing in the country for months, if not years. Tim McGuire, The Associated Press.